Hello everyone, it's Father Peter coming from the Cathedral of St. John Berkman's. I just want to say thank you for your participation at Mass. More and more of you are feeling comfortable, safe to come to Mass. Thank you. Now I know that a number of you are acting very prudently because of your age or underlying conditions and you know that you need to stay home but you're watching Mass by means of our Facebook Live or our webcam. One thing that I'm particularly uh, amazed by is even the daily mass watchers. At the end of each day, we can see not only how many people that the video has reached, but the number of people who actually click on it and watch what's going on at mass. Maybe just to listen to the scripture readings and the homily, get some type of a spiritual assistance, know what the church is doing and the prayers that are being prayed, the readings that are being uh, read. So your spiritual nourishment, that's wonderful, that's great. Uh, we have uh, approximately 450, 480 on a regular basis, daily basis, who are watching. So it's beautiful. It's a ministry that we plan on continuing doing even beyond the pandemic. And I also want to thank you for your continued contributions. In fact, I mentioned in my last video that we have a, an annual report and hopefully you've already received it, you've seen it, and, and you know the financial situation of the Cathedral Parish. I will say early on in the pandemic, um, uh, contributions were understandably lower and we were really foreseeing a, a very big deficit this year. However, thanks to you, you, you have started to contribute online or you're mailing in your contributions. And so thank you, thank you very much. Yes, we have a $30,000 deficit this year, but that's far smaller than we had originally projected because of the coronavirus, etc. If you wish to uh, start contributing online, just go to the web page and, and, uh, of the cathedral and you'll see the various ways in which you can do that. Thank you. This keeps all the ministries and everything going. Um, I do want to say something because I'm standing here in front of some beautiful stained glass windows. First of all, a lot of people ask me, who are, what's this depicting? Well, this is Saints Cosmos and Damien. They were third century saints uh, from Arabia. You can even look at the headdress there and get that little sense. They were doctors. They would take care of people. In fact, they were known as the moneyless ones because they never asked for, for um, uh, remuneration for their services. A uh, very beautiful stained glass window. And of course, right over here, we see St. Peter. St. Peter walked on water, but as soon as he took his, his gaze off of the Lord and realize the storms in the background. You see the, the, the boat there and the apostles there, the, the dark storms. What happened? He, he started to sink until he reached up and, and the Lord grabbed him and brought him to safety. These are very stormy times, aren't they? It's very difficult and so many things going on in our lives uh, on a very personal level, our families, our city, our country, everything. Reach to the Lord. Keep your eyes riveted on him and we'll be able to get through this pandemic and whatever situations that, that we as individuals or as families are, are finding ourselves in. So we pray through the intercession as well this day through the intercession of Saints Cosmos and Damien and Saint Peter. Have a wonderful day, be safe, be healthy, and be holy.